Hi guys! Welcome back! I'm Robsta, an artist from Ontario, Canada, and I'm excited to show you guys this week's project. If you have seen the video where I put a cute little puppy on a leather jacket on my channel, it was one of the first videos I put out, I explained this really cool story about how I got these Doc Martens from someone and I, in, in exchange for them, I painted that jacket for them. So these are the Doc Martens that I got. They're a little bit dirty, they're well loved, um, but I've had a plan since I got them to do a little bit of customization. I've just been waiting to make sure I had the right idea that I wanted to do and I wanted to be able to take a video with it to share with you guys. So let's get into that today. So first I'm just gonna start by um, cleaning off the area that I want it. Um, I wanted to do them just on the little inside here. So I have a little Finn and a little Jake from Adventure Time. I'm just not sure on size. I think I'm gonna go with the smallest one. And I wanna put one on the inside of one shoe and then one on the inside of the other. And then I'm thinking I might find a sneaky little place to add the little snail. But so I'm just gonna get started by cleaning it down with some alcohol. One, they're a little bit dirty because I wore them. But also, um, this is kind of how you would prepare leather to paint. I think I'm gonna add the snail to the back of one of these. So I'm just gonna pick this one and clean off that spot as well. And now we're just gonna cut the stencil out and uh, get ready to apply it. So let's get that stencil. So I got all my little stencils cut out. I'm going to use the graphite on the back and then tracing it onto the shoe. I'm hoping, I haven't done the graphite on the uh, leather before, but I'm hoping since it's dark that the graphite will show up. So let's try that out. Okay, and now that we've got these little uh, stencils graphite on the back, I'm gonna use some sticky tack to stick them on where I want them. And then I'm gonna use a ballpoint pen to trace them on. I'm gonna place them both facing in. So I'm gonna have Finn on the left boot on the inside and then Jake on the right boot on the inside. So we'll start with Finn. Oh, you can see a little glimpse of it, but that works for me to start. I also, just ran out of a white Posca, which would have been the nicest to color this in with. Uh, but I'll trace these all on first and then uh, we'll go in with uh, paint and a paintbrush. Jake first. for Jake that's going to be the first layer it dries decently quick but since we're doing a couple different pieces it'll be really easy to move through them and uh, not have to worry about waiting for them to dry so let's get on to Finn just so I don't lose where he is I'm just going to start off by doing a full coat of white on Finn since some of the areas of him are already white so we won't have to go back in on those but just to see where he's at we're going to go full white Yeah. 
I am also going to go in and do the snail on the back here. And now back to Jake. Back to Finn. Now back to our little snail. So the base layer is all done here. So we're just going to um, now re-outline where certain details are going to go so I know where to paint. So I've already started on the lower neck here because that was an easy point to point out. I won't go into too much detail like on the hand, like where the thumbs and fingers are, because I'm going to be painting that all uh, the skin color now, so there's no point in filling it in and then having to go over top of it again and lining it again. I'm pretty much just blocking out where the major colors are going to go. So those are the major areas, and I'm going to go in with the skin color, the blue t-shirt, and the two tones of the green uh, backpack. Posca marker for these little areas was not the play, but it's the color I want, and it is saving me some time. Okay, so I let them both dry. I added a bit of uh, trace details onto them of where I want to line, and I still have my little cutouts that I'm going to use to reference, and uh, let's add some lines. That keeps me warm
now that they're all lined, we're going to go in with this acrylic matte finisher for acrylic on leather sealant. And then the next time you see them, they're going to be all done. And look at them! I'm so excited with how they turned out. I'm excited to rock these little cuties. And I hope you guys enjoyed them too. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me once again. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. Or if you have a project you want to see me work on this year, let me know in the comments as well. Thank you guys. Bye.